Office Blokes React. I am Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I am Office Bloke Dance. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. We are. And we yep. are proud, proud to say... Look at that. Check the merch out. It's got to be done. Go and treat yourself. Wow. I know Christmas has already been, but, you know, do it. Treat yourself with yeah. the money that you got. <laughs> yeah, why not? Buy, um, that, buy that favourite loved one some Office Blokes merch. It's true. And if you're a guy Something watching this... Everyone and you want to buy it for your girlfriend, check out the leggings. Yeah. Because they're great. They're great. Can't, can't guarantee that we, me and Darren won't be interfering it's with... Uh, logo is <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, and we've yeah. got a Patreon, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We've got a Patreon channel. Go and have a look at patreon.com, uh, put in Office Blokes React, and, uh, yeah, go and support the channel. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. And uh, got a couple of other channels as well, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. we've got Office Blokes Try. And we've got Office Blokes Podcast. Yeah. We Which just released our first podcast in ages, haven't we? First one in six months. Time. Yeah. yeah. By the time this comes out, that podcast will have been out for a few days. It'll be out today, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So head out, head to Office Blokes Podcast and have a listen to us waffle on more than we do Why anyway. Not? Yeah. And yeah. if you like it, give it the thumbs up and we'll, we'll do, do more. more. Yeah. Mm. Thumbs down, we won't bother. <laughs> <laughs> we, will. we will. We will. Uh, so NFL <laughs> angriest moments of all time. I've enjoyed getting into the rules and learning more about the game, but I do love these compilations that are mm. like, yeah, you know, like because we started off with biggest hits, didn't we? And it we was, did. It was First a one that, yeah. I learned you, nothing about the game. I just watched a lot of people hurting each <laughs> it's other. Like, it's all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like what we did with the Aussie Rules one, really. Yes, yeah. it's sort of similar, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I need to turn my phone off, don't I? <laughs> Pinging. Uh, yeah. So Sorry about that. Dreadful, dreadful. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. NFL angriest moments of all time. Do you know when you think about it, just before we start it, when you've got guys this size running at each other and chatting shit to each other and, you know, proper, like, giving it each other, it's going to create angry moments, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if a lot of them are on roids as well. Oh, big time. I don't know if it's illegal. Is it, are they drug tested for roids? Are they allowed to take them? I don't don't know. know. But I listened Mm. to a guy explaining how he, he was something to do with the Russian state sponsored doping it was a guy talking about him because he was friends with him and the guy had basically explained exactly how they can they bypassed all of the tests but they were doping absolutely everyone in the olympic teams and happens stuff, big so. time doesn't it yeah I, think, yeah I think there's people who know how to do this sort of stuff yeah well you think of the, the testosterone on its own but then you got that added to it then yeah there's going to be a it's going to be trouble i said it before though i think they should do like a, an olympic games for the drug cheats where they just dope them up to whatever they want and just let them run yeah, yeah. jump see how far they can run and jump and fast and you know I yeah. think I'd go for that I think it's funny when a sport five second hundred metres <laughs> see how far they can take yeah. you know, how crazy you can go, get. going past bolt <laughs> twice the speed yeah well we'll do it anyway NFL angriest moments of all time yep a big third down for the Seattle defence Cam Newton doesn't like what he sees well it's the second time I think they've waited so long trying to take time off the clock but by the time they get the play and they get up to the line of scrimmage there's only three seconds left on the play clock, and obviously Cam Newton is not pleased. I love that passion. Stewart and Simmons. I love it, the passion. You've got a bit of yeah. sport. Absolutely. Do you remember when Rooney ran to the camera and he shouted, like, fucking something, like, fucking mm. come on, yeah. I think it was, and got fines for it and everything? Should have banned him for life. No. <laughs> now, but you think that's... The, so you're going to make the players be subdued all the time instead and it's going to take passion out of the game you know you I think there's a difference between doing what he's just done and being passionate and shouting at the coach and tell, talking to the coach and the cameras have picked it up than running over to the camera and going fucking into the camera that's not good that's not good and it's not cool and it's not clever but neither is he <laughs> <laughs> touched a nerve there what great so player. the safeties to lead there at the top of your screen covering second down and six ready set more links we've seen a lot already into the pile he goes, trying to dig his way. Wolf among them, a couple down there, and Pecco with his hands right around his ankles. Oh, we have a fight on the other side. Look at this. After Crabtree, helmets being thrown. Talib grabbed it off. Referee is down, and look at holding on to his ribs. Well, that started with the block. That was Crabtree on a keep to lead. Remember, there's some history between. He's angry walking man as well, isn't yeah, he? He's yeah. proper angry walking. You can walking, tell, can't you? Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> he's got his arms swinging. Stomping him out there. Yeah, he's ready to go. Did, the, did he say the referee went referee down? Referee went down holding well. his ribs, yeah. These two guys, and I think that's really where the fight started. Crabtree actually blocks him. Look, the we, got, we have another one right Look here. Look at this. 
Oh, and a swing right well, there. This is crazy because now you're going to get injected from the game. I mean, this is just selfish. When, when your own self-interest are more important than the team, then you put yourself and your team at risk. And that's just, that's terrible. Seasons, week seven. It looked like he was walking away, though, and he had no helmet on, and the other guys came up to him. And then he took yeah, a swing at his head with a helmet he, on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah. don't they don't value their uh, the hands too much. I know he's smacking some with a helmet on. Wow. Team meeting in Denver. Akeem Talib and Crabtree got into it, and he took that gold chain and ripped it oh, off his history. neck, snapping it in half. And then moments ago, here's what happened. Yeah, I think this. Look, watch watch this block. Look, and it doesn't stop there. Wow. I mean, you, you just knew that this was going to happen. Crowd is juiced up. On third down. Roethlisberger tosses it too high for Le'Veon Bell. Well, watch this play by Antonio Brown. Roethlisberger looking the other way, but this frustration here is going to boil over to the uh, sideline. This is a first-class temper tantrum thrown by Antonio Brown trying to get cooled down by offensive coordinator Todd Haley he pulls away from Haley competitive but uh, you've got to be a little bit more under control on the sidelines you've got to kind of Carpenter upset himself after the extra point try yeah, you know he was playing the wind <laughs> <laughs> that was a direct hit on the schnoz there schnoz yeah love ones like that second serve for carpenter instant karma Tom steps up sings one toward the end zone over the head of Edelman. with jimmy smith in coverage and brady very upset to the 20 yard line brady hasn't lost any competitive fire at age 39 that's for sure Floats one, he's got Douglas. And Douglas makes the catch. Remember, this is third down, and that ball moved. Let's take another look. They called it a catch on the field, so did he actually lose possession? We'll find out now. I'm not sure he did. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, San Francisco's charge with their first timeout. Harbaugh goes crazy on the sideline. Green Bay. <laughs> Why does that seem controversial? Because that seemed fair to me. It looked like he caught it to it's me. The same, it's, I thought. It's completed so. play. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I guess he went yeah, happy I'm with not it. Sure. That's a let us know in the comments if that was a, a good call or not. Because yeah. uh, I didn't see anything wrong he there. He obviously didn't think it was, did he? So, yeah, I don't know. Go back. Was he the uh, Was he the opposing coach? Who, who caught it? Was it answer or? Go back a bit more. Right, so yeah, so the Atlanta's caught it, yeah, haven't they? And he's the San Francisco coach who's complaining. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Looked fair to me as well. Yeah, and the, the ruling give it. It, was a, it looks a bit loose in his hand, but yeah. he still had control of it. So it looked like it, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. First down. <laughs> Harbaugh goes crazy on the sideline. Green Bay can get the ball back. One first down, it's over. Got the white stripes have done all right out of that yeah, song, haven't they? Big time. <laughs> Everywhere, every sport. Maybe, maybe yeah. your answer. Throwing that surface tablet is Aaron Rodgers. The play was there. Yeah, really well designed. You know, designed it beautifully. Yeah. And, you know, you could have called them for a pick. No flag. So the play would have stood, but... Pressure just right back into Rogers' face. He couldn't really see what happened out there and tried getting off of it. And then it was too late. She's him out. Just one time out left for Sam Fran. <laughs> Watching kicker Phil Dawson warming up. You know, he tried a, about a 61 yarder, wasn't quite as good, but that was going to the opposite end of the field. And for my playing, Andy Moss, Randy Moss has three kicks. Reminds me of that little kid that we did on one of the fail videos where he sat playing his tablet in school and he starts hitting it against his <laughs> knee and smashes it. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. Which is for just 23 yards. Mm. Andre Johnson and Cortland Finnegan getting into it. Hand off for Ward on third and eight. 
And Ward leaning forward. Oh, easy lad. Oh, there's punching now. Yeah, Finnegan and Andre Johnson going after it. Both of the helmets were ripped off. And we may have even more action. Oh, it's continuing. It spills over. Well, that's gotten ugly. Here's matchup between Odell Beckham and Josh Norman with summing, someone coming over to Odell and calming him down. I'm sitting here watching him pace up and down this sideline, but something that did happen this time <laughs> around, his quarterback, Eli Manning, coming over. His wide receivers coach, Adam, <laughs> <laughs> telling him to knock it off. <laughs> Swat. <laughs> and the name. <laughs> I suppose with it being such yeah. high stakes and it's so dangerous, I can understand why people get so wound up because you're already fired up because at any point oh. a career-ending injury could happen. Someone could just snap you in half out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to be like, you're going to be ready to go at all times, aren't you? Well, a lot of these yeah, people really are fired up aren't they? To, to build the stats as well. It's the same as football, why people, yeah. you know, if, you, if you're, a, if you're a, um, a midfielder and you're not getting enough of the ball um, in, in English soccer, yeah. that your stats go down and it, it makes you, you some of your contracts are based on stats oh really yeah, yeah so you've got yeah, to you, yeah. so many goals you score you'll get bonuses and I'm sure it's the same in American football yeah, so many and touchdowns and things, and things yeah, like you that get, you get bonuses for yeah, it yeah definitely we should do that with uh, IT guys shouldn't we <clears throat> anyway yeah I don't mean this to be sarcastic or, or pointed but I mean that went out on Monday night television a lot of fans are talking about it right now as a big problem with this team. Can you put a text what was going on at that moment? What caused you? What Deuce and I talk about is nobody else's business. But why was something funny when you're down 18 points in the fourth quarter? It wasn't It wasn't funny. I wasn't laughing about anything. The camera showed you laughing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Commented about it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not laughing about it. You think this is funny? I take this serious. I'm not. I'm Real serious. I, I put my heart and soul into this every single week. All I'm saying is the camera shows I'm just you telling you right now what I do every single week. Every single week, I put my freaking heart and soul into this. I study my off. I don't go out there and laugh. It's not funny. It's not funny to me. I don't want to go out there and get embarrassed on Monday Night Football in front of everybody. That's why I'm asking you what. I'm telling you right now. We're not. Can we're I... talking. Deuce and I are talking. What was the context? I'm done. Sorry. I'm not doing. Is this what you were talking about? I hate, I hate the press. <sighs> Yeah, he was, he was poking him, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, he was definitely poking him, wasn't he? Yeah, he wanted a reaction, didn't he? He did definitely wanted a reaction. He, did time, he got right? it, yeah. nothing. He got it, though. He got the reaction, didn't he? So the one he wanted, didn't he? Yeah. So well, then the, the you know videos like that will go viral, I suppose, don't they? Everybody yeah. will see it, and the reporter there will he'll, he'll get a few back slaps off all his mates, won't they, I suppose, and thinking he's great. But what, what you've got to do is really calmly sit there and say, when the seagulls follow the trawler. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's what you need to do. Yeah, you're going to see Josh is like, ah, oh, you had the end cut. He was open. And Tom's like, you know what? I know he was open. Oh, you know what? I know he was open. I know it. I'm just Tom. I just, I'm just telling it. <laughs> I'm glad it's that civilized. Yeah, I always well, wonder. It's so nice right in those situations. Mm -hmm. When you miss something like that, you don't want to like, and the coach is like, man, we had the perfect play. He designed it, spent all week going over it, and then, you miss it, and you're like, he's like, gotta hit it. And you're like, I know. You think I wanted to miss? Hold on. You didn't want to be risky with the throw because he knew he was just a hair leg. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, he's just that calf grabbing again on him, Joe. And it's oh. something that he's going to have to do. Well, oh, yeah. He oh, yeah. Right at the end of that play. I didn't catch that. And it looks like maybe that's and again, twice. Was, twice. But, it doesn't look like they've got studs like on a football Cleats. boot. Cleats. I'm sure I've asked you that before. I don't know. I think I'm one of the other videos. Them football boots I give you the other day. Yeah. Same. Oh, they're really? Like same uh, bottom. Right. Same sort of bottom. Oh. So it's going to hurt. Yeah. Getting stud on. Stud by anything. Especially if you've got trainers on, it's going to hurt. It's going to well, hurt, yeah. Especially if something like 70, 18 stone stuff. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> 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 it could be barefoot. You've got a slip on hurt. it. <laughs> it's still going to be hurting, isn't it? <laughs> Especially on that part of your leg as well, your shin. Yeah. Yeah. He gets yeah, stepped on. That's Sue.
Yeah. This happened about a moment ago in the Bengals Jags game. It looks like a standard play. AJ Green and Jalen Ramsey, two stars on their respective sides of the football, get into a huge fight and everybody goes at it. Now you see the players running into it. That's AJ Green and Jalen Ramsey at the bottom of the pile. AJ Green throwing several punches, and I'm going to show you a replay in a moment that he tried to choke hold on Jalen Ramsey. Watch. So Ramsey will push him down. Ramsey pushed down AJ Green. Green throws him in a chokehold, rips him back down, and is throwing punches. <laughs> Don't get the throwing punches, baby. Uh, you're just punching a hard helmet, it's aren't you? Just don't make any sense. Do you like really punching really a hard helmet, Dave? Slap it about a bit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Here is second and 15. Handoff is to Vereen. Able to stay upright and picks up a first down. And there's Beckham again. <laughs> what is going on? Watch the end of this play. <laughs> That's not it. It's here. He's going back in. Oh, yeah. And they go head to head. Uh -huh. Then Norman gets in with a knee into the for New York. McCown moving pocket. McCown. Nothing going on that side. McCown <laughs> spins away. McCown yeah. desperation throw. And a flag down. They're going to get Nelson for holding. McCown just bought time, hoping something would develop. And Marcus Peters took the ball and chucked it into the stands so that's uh, three penalties potentially on this play against the chiefs he took the flag the flag ended up in the stands i have never seen that before you don't catch it you get it to the face and hit the floor. Say, <laughs> dangerous things aren't they rolling on the floor yeah, yeah. <laughs> where's the blame there's a clay <laughs> in my life have you been like conduct for this act by marcus peters yeah, peters just hoisted the flag and the hat comes off because the official was out of flags <laughs> second down and 19 mccoy gets the snap throws down field intercepted Dempse. Oh. Pushing with the helmet off, and he'll go to the sideline. Looks like he's bleeding yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah he's bleeding. A bit of an oversight Why? taking that helmet off. You got to pay for this plastic surgery, Bill. You know how this happened. What do you do? I laid the guard out. I laid him out. He got something like tries to hit me again. I punched him. I headbutt him with no helmet. Took it well, though. He just looks like me like this. I'm just keeping my helmet on for the rest of the game. I look like a psycho. Oh, God. <laughs> I love the mic up moments, man. Yeah. No, good. Uh, don't push him in the back like that. Well, you fucking push him in hey. the back. Let him turn around and then go off. Yeah, Take your helmet off and go. You do that primary school, don't you? Yeah. Push him in the back like that. It did a bit of damage, that, though, didn't it? Mm. Black yeah, eyes already. But mm. like I say, he, yeah, he took it well, though, didn't he? To be fair. <laughs> just stood there, didn't he? <laughs> That's going the best move. <laughs> going back to that Odell Beckham uh, move. I think everyone in sport called Beckham's annoying. No. No, David Beckham's not, apart from his voice. <laughs> I don't know enough about Odell Beckham. It's a name I hear a lot, to mm. be fair, but I don't know enough about him to know if he's yeah. annoying. No, me neither. Is he all right? Seems to get stuck in. He played he? for the Giants, I've seen there. Well, I knew that anyway, but it's just the name. The guard performance in the win last Sunday. Foles going in zone, right back to Kelsey, who thought that he was interfered with in the back of the end zone. No flag. Mukamara, who missed on that interception early in the game, was there on the coverage. Kelsey saying that they turned him and hooked him away from the ball right there. That hand around the net. He did? was hit yeah, before he the ball arrived. Now, the official may have said that ball was too high for Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey is hot. Now he's ejected from the game. He's out. <laughs> is that what he is? He was hot. In terms of whatever he said to the official, is not warranted.
Good and try that. Not gonna be happy with That's time of arguing with someone. I'm just going to throw my hat in the air. No, I think that's because he's run out of flag. He's already flown a flag and he doesn't have another flag. So I think he throws his hat. Have to use his hat. Yeah. Flags don't take up much room. Give the refs a couple more flags. <laughs> I think I'm assuming that's what it is. Unless <laughs> taking your hat off means you're going out of the game. Out the game. Well. Yeah, because he just walked straight off then, didn't yeah. he? They were saying he was being I ejected. The, I, think so. the, I think the motion of the arm. Because all the other players started doing it, didn't they? Yeah. You need a little ejector thing under your hat so you can just stand there and look at him and press a button and it flies <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> this. Let's send you down to the field and Aaron Andrews. Joe, thank you so much. Richard, let me ask you the final play. Take me through it. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. <laughs> when you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who was talking about you? <laughs> Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Or you, I'm going to set it for you real quick. LOB. All right, before. Joe, back over to you. <laughs> <laughs> great interview. Well, Monday night. Here's your quarterback running again, and a little extracurricular activity by Alec Ogletree, and some of the 49ers are going to let him know about it. Everything about this boomer is undisciplined on the Rams. Everything is offensive. Everything that happens in these little chippy endeavors always end up being accelerated by the Rams tonight late or or offbeat and, and everyone on the field knows that something's wrong with it let's watch it closely here but oh, nothing big there yeah, he's, <laughs> he's kind of scraped the clear across there <laughs> personal foul defense number 99 15 yard penalty automatic first down See, it was like push up, push up, no big deal, and then somebody has to do the chippy Contact thing that gets the foul, the and it's been the Rams all night. Defense number 99. Though. After this is in the goal, automatic first down. Number 99 has been disqualified. <laughs> there you go. So I guess they get, they get, I guess they get penalised by 15 yards, right, for the penalty, and then the second penalty is half the distance to the goal. Uh, is that what he said? Yeah, I, I sort right, of missed yeah. that a little bit. And then he's been ejected from the game as well. So if there's, if there's 60 yards from the goal, whatever it is, it's half the distance. They move 30 yeah. yards. Plus right, the 15, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it moves them right up the field. Yeah, big penalty. So that, proper, isn't it? Yeah, you're yeah. fucking your team up doing that. Yeah. I like how they sort of announced the decision. Love it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. No, it is. Nowhere to hide for him. Absolutely. Yeah. And obviously, the, the referees have got to explain what's happening as well, haven't they? Yeah. So everyone knows what's happening. Can you happening. imagine that incident the other night with City so, being trying to be explained? Yeah. That's the law. The law was given what it was, and every fan, even me, and it was for us. And I was like, I still thought it was offside. Yeah. And, I'm like, and they were like, No, this is the rule. And I'm like, I know the rule. I know that's the rule now, but I still thought it was offside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Try explaining that. So yeah. like fifty six thousand in I the crowd. Yeah. Even, even the home fans, even us, who, who, who went in our favour. Yeah. We were still saying, so, but it's offside. Yeah. Who who explained it? Was it the commentators? No. Even they had an ex referee on. And yeah. he explained it and said it's offside. And then the Premier League called up the show yeah. and explained the law. And they got the law book out and read it. And the referee was right. Yeah. And he must have only been that referee in the whole world the, that knew that rule. Yeah. yeah. So even the ex referee. Yeah. The uh, ex referee. He was the top a, referee. Yeah. And even he didn't know yeah, it. Yeah. Even he didn't know the rule. Wow. Mm. Wow. But even when they explained the rule, I still thought. It's yeah, I know that. I know that. <laughs> but he's still offside. <laughs> Ejected, and there's your night for the Rams. I got a question for uh, for the for the for the people who are going to who are going to comment in the, in the section. When a team moves from like like the Rams have moved, and there's quite a few that have done it in the NFL. So the Rams used to be in St. Louis, I think it was. Right. So they're the St. Louis Rams, and they've moved to Los Angeles and become the LA Rams. So there's no St. Louis anymore. What? How, how did they get new fans? Well, yeah. What What I gathered with some of it is people don't necessarily support the team where they're from anyway. Right. Yeah. So there there's more colleges. Be, they say, yeah, yeah. There seems yeah. to be people from all over supporting yeah. whoever. So, so they uh, just right, get a whole yeah. host of new fans in Los Angeles who will support the Rams. Probably got a fan base there already, already yeah. haven't they? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I don't know if they were where they were before they, they went to St. Louis. Or so is that the second been... team in L in LA now, then? Or is that the uh, only team in? LA. Well, it was the other LA team. That's what I mean. I don't know. You got Oakland, uh, which is California, San Francisco. I'm just wondering if they didn't have a team, and obviously they'd say, "Right, 
There we go. There's a team for us. But if there's the, one there what's already, the charges are they? Oh, the only allowed to have San Diego or something is it? No, I don't. Like that. So it's people I that's anyway, yeah, they're yeah, just allowed to have teams. just one football team. No, in I don't each. think so because New oh, York right. have got New York Giants, New York Jets. Right. I, I suppose we could look into yeah. that thing where the Cleveland Browns moved. And yeah. then they moved back, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah that's right. Because yeah. we, we mm. sort of watched one on that. But what, what I'm thinking, though, if I live in St. Louis and I'm a St. Louis Rams fan, yeah. and then they move to Los Angeles, do I just say, assholes, fuck off, I'm not following you anymore. I'm going to support I'm someone, support else, someone else. Yeah. Well, when you've mm. lived abroad, you're still a Man City fan, aren't you? Yeah. But you can't watch Man City as much mm. because you might be living in yeah. Abu Dhabi or you yeah. know wherever. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you start supporting their local football team. No, but I, I mean, know. if it's local too, it's like if yeah. Manchester City moved and wasn't Manchester City anymore, it's Manchester City anymore, well, they become <laughs> become London City. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, fuck it, I'm done. Yeah, it's not yeah. for me. Yeah. Well, that's what happened when Wim- Wimbledon ceased to be and he went to yeah. Milton Keynes, it was MK yeah. Dons. Yeah. But then I, th- I think basically mm. Wimbledon just started up again, didn't they, a few yeah. years later? Yeah. And then they've got a team again, haven't they now? Mm. So obviously, I'm sure all their proper fans will just. Mm. It's just interesting to see how it works there with that. Yeah, with another team moving. Yeah. The people who received the team in LA. And the people that see the team leave from St. Louis. When I've listened to people like Bill Burr on this podcast, he talks about football a lot. He'll talk about games and he could be, it's not always set in stone who he's going to support for that game. Mm. He's got a team, but I think he just watches tons of it. And for that yeah. game, he's yeah. supporting, supporting that team, team yeah. or, or uh, whatever. Right, okay, so yeah. I think there might be a bit of chopping mm. and changing. Yeah. Mm. Just interesting to find out. Yeah, yeah. Let, let us know on that one. If we're going to be one of the great players, you have to handle adversity. Another question I've got. <laughs> He's been ejected from the game now. Do they have to play now with a man down? Or you'd, do they just put another uh, player on? You'd think yeah. it'd be a man down, because otherwise what would be the, what would be the benefit of ejecting? He's probably might be one of the better players, because he might be a starter player. But I'm just right. let us know on that. That's a good rule to know, because yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, it's not really a punishment, is it? Because then you'd send in your less decent players mm. to go and commit fouls to get sent off and then just put a better player on and use it as a substitution you'd start with a better player wouldn't you <laughs> no no but what I'm saying is if you want to do some damage and uh, do something illegal take someone you'd out you'd put on your less oh, good your players, players yeah, to, to do to some to damage do and then yeah. just put your best player on when the yeah. damage has mm. been done let us know on that yeah. good point yeah see I mean, foolish foolish what is he doing take him by the neck I mean, this is one of the leaders. That, no one works harder. No one studies harder. Nobody is more disciplined about his preparation f- for football. It's Jerry Light. Go and get your helmet, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking no, that. Was gonna someone, get it for you. someone got to go and get it. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I like seeing people that fired up. We've said it a couple of times. It sort of shows the yeah. passion. Yeah, it belongs in sport, yeah. I think. I think you've got to have that in sport because if you don't, it doesn't get the fans fired up and the whole experience of going to watch a exactly. game is shit. It gets the crowd going, doesn't it? Yeah. It just shows yeah. you know, the winners as well. They want to win the match, don't yeah. they? Yeah. That's what you want from your team. Yep. You don't want people just not bothered about it. And st- you don't want people giving it everything, don't you? Yeah. Like I say, yeah. a bit of passion and everything. So. Exactly. Yeah, nothing wrong with that as long as it's channeled in the right way or slightly wrong way sometimes well, like if, this. But if, you do it, if you do it in the wrong way, just make sure your helmet bounces back up and gets you in the and face. You just, <laughs> <laughs> smash the kicker's net and it comes around and whacks yeah, you back yeah. in the head. If you're yeah. going to do that, like, have you ever been that angry where you just lash out at something and then that happens? Because I've definitely done it. All you can do then is laugh. Yeah, that diffuses all of the anger because it's like, what a fucking knob. Just trapes off. Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. I've yeah. seen it happen in a crowded event where yeah. something's gone wrong for the person causing the trouble, and the whole crowd's going, "Way, that's yeah. made it worse." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know what even more. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, like that too. Don't forget answer our questions as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, give us more uh, advice on what we should be doing on uh, the NFL side. And don't forget like and subscribe, hit the bell, and all that good stuff. Tell your mates about us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Guys.